The entire purpose of creating an online course is for your ideal client or your ideal audience to get a result. Not just selling a course, you want to get them that result of whatever that pain point that they need help with. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create slides for your course and what I like to use that has gotten me amazing results so I don't have to continue editing. So first of all, why do you need course slides? You may be like me and I like to talk. So if I do not have slides or something to keep me focused, it's just gonna be a whole ramble. You have to understand that not every student is going to be, be able to focus like this face to camera. So your slides are gonna help your student stay focused and get to that point. And your slides don't have to be super fancy. We're going to talk about how to create amazing slides, even if you're not tech savvy, and what I like to use. So number one is your format. I like to go in Canva, go into presentation, and look for something that's very clean, especially when you're first starting. And if you've never created fancy slides or if you've never created anything graphic, you may regret making something super bright. So if you don't have any brand colors or anything like that yet, Keep it simple, keep it neutral, and it's gonna just be easier to focus. Pink on green, fancy color fonts, all of that may be way too distracting for your ideal client. When you're giving a presentation, it needs to impress your student. This, just no. Another one, I got this from Pinterest. Absolutely not. Example of a template that I got on Canva, and look how simple it is. Another example. These are all the same exact font. The only difference is that these are bold. Stick with the templates. Don't try to get super creative if you are not a creative person. I want to reiterate that. Simple fonts and use the templates that are already there. This is actually a template that I got from Canva. Super clean. Look how beautiful it looks. This is the actual template that it came with and I adjusted it to fit my brand colors. A few things made it my color and it just looks good. Keep your text very simple. If you go in Canva, there is a whole section of different font combinations that you can use, especially if you've never made slides before, or you can just stick to whatever font combinations they have. They have it there for a reason. Let's talk about text. The writing that is on the slide. You do not have to go <laughs> Please don't put your entire script on there. If you go on Canva, there's different ways that you can put your text on the side. Or what you can do is just have a doc, Google Doc. I like to do that, especially like today. I like to have a doc and on the side, I'm just going to read off the main points that I need to read. Bullet points are the best, very short text or maybe one sentences to keep their attention. There are a few things that you can also do, which is a visual or a photo on your slides. One thing that I love doing is using stock photos. You can either buy them, you can purchase them from different websites, or you can just go in Canva and use them for free, whichever one they have up there for free. Or you know what? You can take pictures of yourself and put them up on there. That's something that just keeps the engagement and keeps the attention of your student. Text and images, you could do both. So you can do just text, just images to give an example, or you can do a combination of both to make it interesting and continue keeping them engaged. Okay, so once you make your slides, what I like to do is I like to go on Be Live. So Be Live is a program that I absolutely love. I have the links to all of this in the description, but really what this is, it's supposed to be a live streaming program. Now this is amazing to record. You can do it for free, but this specifically keeps your audience engaged because you can switch the screen, you can switch it side to side. So I'm gonna give you a super quick demo on how to do that and how simple it is. So let me show you what it looks like. But I want to move on to sharing your screen. So it's actually super simple. You have a few ways that you can do this. So let's say right here you wanna share a specific window. Let's just say that I wanna do this one. I can show you demo or a Canva slideshow. All I have to do is show in screen. Right here on the bottom, if you see this bottom part right, you are going to toggle it. So here goes, you can do the side by side. When the photo or the camera has the same size, that's where it looks like this. But because one is a little bit wider, that's why it looks a little bit smaller. You can also do this, make sure that they're side by side if it's like you really want to talk but you also want to show that screen do these opposite so that is screen you can also show your chrome tabs so it's actually very simple down here 
this is that Chrome tab, blue arrow up there. Well, that's the specific tab. Anymore, I'm gonna hide this right here on the bottom. And now you can see that specific tab. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just like completely obsessed with this. And we're going to move on to media where you're going to be able to have a slideshow, press upload for, for example, a photo or something specific that you want to show. Let's say I want to have some type of showcasing. So I'm going to pick my photo and while it uploads, I can toggle it the same way that I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna put press show and stream. Maybe it's something that I'm explaining or a diagram. Something else that's in media is YouTube. This video that I want to show, I'm gonna put it right here. Let's say I'm explaining and I wanna show you now. A profile photo is very important. How cool is that? I cannot handle this. Everybody needs this program. Obviously, I'm super obsessed. So let me show you something else in media. So let's hide that and move on to slides. This is my absolute favorite. You can only upload PDFs. This helps you keep your audience engaged. Let's say that I am onboarding my business partner. It has everything that you possibly need down here. These slides are so simple. They're not hard to understand. They're not hard to read. It's just very straight to the point. But me talking like this and switching these will keep them a little bit more engaged while I'm speaking. So when you do create your slides, perhaps in Canva, then what you do is you have to download it as a PDF. Now with all this information, how do you send it to your destination? Well, it's right here, edit destination. And this is where you're gonna be able to add it to anything that you need to do. Then you can go to Facebook, and the cool thing about Facebook is that you can do it on your own timeline. I also want to add it to my Bay Collective page, which is actually a business page that I have. And you can always edit that destination and make sure that it's offline recording and download it. If you want a full demo on how to use BeLive, I have that. I will link that. But in the next video, I want to show you how to make your own recording studio, even if you're not tech savvy. I'll see you in the next video.